Hi guys and ladies. I'm watching Mario Batali here on this video doing a recipe. I think it's easy enough that even I could pull this off. Let's see. <laughs> Sausage and peppers is a traditional Italian-American type dish, but I never watched what my mother did when I grew up, so I have to rely on Mario Batali here, uh, and his ways are probably more fanciful. We'll find out. Okay, let's start off with two kinds of sausage here. There's a pound uh, of the mild and a pound of the spicy. I did learn this from my mother. Mark the spicy, or what we call hot sausage, with a toothpick. Mario Batali's directions say to pierce the sausage with a sharp knife in various places. I had to wash my cutting board. You know, I'm working with meat here. Well, now I've got a, uh, a big white uh, onion, and I'm supposed to cut it in half lengthwise. I don't know, this doesn't look quite like Mario's. I have no skills. I doubt highly that this is what Mario Batali envisioned. Now Mario Batali says we need to cut up two red peppers and a green one. You see, I already disobeyed him with this. You know, as a kid in school, I often had comments on my report card to the effect that I don't follow directions well. Well, that problem still haunts me today. You see, I was supposed to have a fourth pepper, a yellow one. I failed to buy it. Luckily, though, my onion is about double the size of the one in Mario's video, so hopefully everything will balance out enough. I'm supposed to add three tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil to a big 14-inch skillet. Well, I don't have anything that big, except this electric fry pan might do the job. Okay, to a second big skillet, I'm supposed to add four tablespoons of olive oil. Now, both skillets have to be on medium heat. Let's put the sausage in now. I'm going to cut the sausage into sort of like sized links. Now the sausage, I have to let it cook for about eight minutes and I have to turn it over now and then. Now here in the other pan, I've got to add the vegetables. A lot of onion. Okay, now uh, to the vegetables, I'm supposed to add some oregano. It doesn't say how much, but you're supposed to crush it with your fingers or your palms to bring out that oregano-y flavor. I can smell it. Now, it doesn't say how much, but we are supposed to add some of this uh, crushed red chili peppers. Okay, something is wrong. These uh, vegetables aren't cooking down like they did in Mario's uh, video. Maybe I've got the, uh, uh, the pan is too small, or maybe there's too many onions or something, but they're not ready to go in with the sausage just yet. So what I did is I turned down the heat on the sausage to very low. We have to let the peppers catch up. To the sausage. While the veggies are cooking down, I'm going to add a little uh, salt. It says coarse sea salt, and I only have coarse kosher salt. I probably am going to ruin the recipe by not having the right type of salt. You ever get a little upset with these television chefs? You know, they make everything look so simple. Okay, now that these peppers and onions are finally softened, I'm going to add two tablespoons of tomato paste. The directions say to stir in this tomato paste and keep stirring until it starts turning brown in color. 
since putting in the tomato paste. Wow, it really smells good. Tomato-y, but mmm, mmm, mmm. I'm turning the heat back up on the sausage because now I have to combine everything and add wine and there's some cooking that needs to be done with this. Now I'm supposed to combine the vegetables with the sausage. Now we're supposed to add about four ounces, it looked like in the video. He never specified. Four ounces of red wine. Let's see how this goes. Now we're just going to simmer this mixture. Looks like kind of a stew for three minutes longer. Oh, smells so good with that wine. Mm, mm, mm. How about we plate some up? I'll take the hot sausage. It looks pretty good. Well, there's nothing like a live taste test. Mm. Excuse me, but the peppers are very sweet. The onions, of course, are. I get a good hint of oregano in the wine. And of course, the peppers are delicious. You know what? Thank you so much for watching.